the Australian Border Force, together with other World Customs Organisation uh, corporations, are facing the same challenges. Uh, it's increase in cost, increase in mail volumes, and the forever changing uh, methodologies of the criminals who are trying to infiltrate our borders. So there's a fine balance between achieving facilitation and achieving a law enforcement outcome through the identification of uh, high-risk items through mail. The opportunities that we have, as we've discussed this week, during the WCO Global Conference is our ability to collaborate and uh, be able, be able, being able to share data, um, have a standardised data format to allow our customs organisations to consume that data in a standardised way so that we can create a capability to identify those high-risk uh, mail items ahead of the border, which then will free up our at-border facilitation. Being able to use technologies such as 3D x-rays and um, optical recognition ex uh, capability uh, together with the, the uh, algorithm and uh, AI technology whereby we can build profiling to identify patterns in data so that we can see what the criminals are doing ahead of the border. Um, this can be done through our collaboration through forums such as this as well as through the WCO contact committee of which I'm the co-chair. Um, it's great to see the collaboration of this week um, and the greater understanding and, and appreciation for the challenges faced by postal corporations and by our customs and border officials. Um, and the final takeaway I will give is um, our ability to also communicate to our stakeholders and communicate to the consumer why they might be receiving postal returns or why something might be costing more and the importance of the ongoing sharing of information to enable their parcel to move freely through the postal system whilst border force and customs worldwide are able to identify those high-risk commodities coming through the border.